Hello everyone and welcome back to the Neon Revolution. Today's episode, we have something so amazing that I've been looking forward to. We have the Jumbo Box, the Celebrations Prime Collection. This box is huge and for size, but better yet, we could use a Venusaur card. Boom, oh wow, it just completely disappears with the light glare, sweet. But, I mean, there is a reference for you right there. This thing is absolutely huge. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what is inside. So now I did get this on the secondary market. So unfortunately I was not able to pay, you know, MSRP. I probably paid a little bit more than, you know, I should have, but I wanted to open it. Um, because I think it's just a cool, just big box. And there we go. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, this is actually the Dragapult Prime Collection box mixed with, I'll put that right there for you guys, you can pause and read it, mixed with the, uh, the chest or the lunch box as I like to call it. Now you do get a couple of extra goodies in here. You get this binder which is new and different. It is for jumbo cards but it is different than the ones for the first partner pack. All right, and then this one is actually the exact same as the Dragapult one. Um, it's got those smaller ones in there. That's okay. This is the exact same as the one in the Dragapult. But this right here, this is why you want to get this specific box. You get the Mimikyu from Delta Species. You get Light Toxtricity. And then you get, I mean, absolutely, you get the Dragon Ball as well, which you get in the Dragon Ball Prime, but these three jumbo promo cards are exclusive to this box. Now, the Dragon Ball Prime box does come with only two packs of celebrations. This box, if you do it this way, you get an extra one. I could have sworn it was supposed to be two. I think I read said two. So very interesting. Maybe it slipped or fell or something like that. Code card. Give you guys the code card for it. Um, very interesting. We'll have to see. It doesn't look like it was retaped. So we'll, we'll keep opening. We'll keep opening. See. See what's going on here, but there's the chest. This is sealed in all of its glory. This comes with six celebrations as well as um, three promos, I think, because this is in here. You took them out and stuff, so we're gonna have to see about that. You get box to stay open. That would be very helpful. Okay. So you get a coin, you get the jumbo coin, which we have already, but I mean, never gonna say no to another one. All right, so that's just cardboard. Toss that in there. Oh, this is just cardboard? Huh, so I think we somehow got, again, shorted on a Pokemon product. Thank you, Pokemon, so much for shorting me products. Maybe it's, somewhere else, but I doubt it. We're gonna close this up because this is going in our collection. Boom, big beautiful box. All right, and then we will open up the uh, the chest. Man, that really does bother me, right? Uh, let's see, that comes with six. Here's everything that comes in it right here. Okay, so it's three. Okay, so it is three. Somehow I could have sworn it was four. I thought I was gonna cheat. So you get an extra pack. So, you know, uh, I did watch somebody uh, who got four. And I think that's where I got that notion from. So, we'll open this up. 
Boom. Toss that off the side. Uh, I think it's a great lunchbox too. Um, so, and then yes, you get the uh, the tiny versions of those promo cards as well as another coin. Actually, that coin in there has got some stars in it, whereas this one does not. So there is a difference between the two coins. I don't know if you can tell that. Maybe if I get it a little closer, I'm kind of no. Nope, there, there. Now you can see it. That one's got stars. This one does not. So, I mean, they're the same coin, but they're also not at the same time. So, and then in here, we'll go ahead and pull this out. Uh, some stickers. Cool. Um, let all that fall. All right. Six celebrations. Bringing the total up to nine. Battle Styles and Vivid Voltage again. So we've got one Chilling Rain, one Battle Styles, and two Vivid Voltage. While I have it, we'll go ahead and leave up Dragapult Prime. And might as well double sleeve it. Everything from this set is being graded. Nothing will be left out. All right, so then it's got probably more information. Yep. So there is for light Pokemon, you can pause it. Delta species Pokemon, you can pause it. And Pokemon SP. So I'll sit down there with the rest of the collectibles. So that's everything in there, but there's still some stuff underneath this. Um, there we go. All right, so we get another notepad. Super cool. More stickers definitely meant more for the kids, but that's okay. A little uh, single card binder. I think those are kind of cool. Plastic. All right, so I think that's everything. Um, that's that. Boom, okay. So let's go ahead, we'll switch to the close up and then we'll start opening some cards. Alrighty, we are back, and as I slide these into frame, I just wanted to quickly show you the difference. These are the binders that you get for the first partner pack. Uh, these obviously have a bunch of cards in here that I've been working on. Uh, I'm currently working on two of these at the same time, just because, you know, why not? They're pretty, the first partner pack's pretty easy to find, so yeah, actually do this so the tail goes up and to the right and is kind of clear this one uh, that's bigger Pikachu's bigger tail goes almost down a little bit and uh, yeah I think it's I think it's super cool um, the back first partner pack there's not really anything it kind of just fades away but the tail starts on the back of this one so I thought that was kind of cool um, and this is actually the second one of those. No, the first one of those that I have. I have the Dragapult one before. This is one that I've already put. Or no, not that one. Where is it? Where is it? This one. This is the GameStop exclusive one that you get. And I put the Snorlax VMAX in there as well as all the jumbo cards from um, Celebration so far. So I figured what better way We'll slide this out. We'll get these in there, all safe and sound. I, I absolutely love these cards too. Um, a lot of people aren't a big fan of the jumbos. I personally, I don't mind them. I think they're cool. Uh, one of my local game stores actually had a poster size uh, Charizard, base set Charizard, and uh, I saw it as I was driving by. Didn't have the time to stop. By the time I did get a chance to go back, it was gone. So, yeah. But yeah, boom. Uh, so yeah, GameStop exclusive. Um, Zacian and Zamazenta on the back there. I think that's kind of cool. And the uh, you get the Jumbo Snorlax VMAX, which does have the Sword and Shield logo on it, which I think was super cool. Um, and then, obviously, the artwork for this is very similar to... This one, which is also a GameStop exclusive, they had a, uh, a box, a Snorlax box, 
um, that came with a binder in it. So I thought that was kind of cool, and I use that one to keep all the uh, single promo cards in. But enough of all of that. Let's start opening some packs. I'll readjust this. Get that all nice, nice. We're gonna start off with some battle styles. Um, you know, not my favorite set. It does have a decent amount of chase cards in it. Um, I just I've got to terrible luck with it. So, um, and I also I, I genuinely do think that it's going to be Sword and Shields, Steam Siege. That's I've said that before. I will keep saying it, but. A uh, huge shout out to the person, man, lady, don't know if didn't ask, who sold me this box. Well, yes, they made a profit off of it. Um, it is a secondary market, so that is to be expected. But uh, it was packaged very well, and yeah, so far I have no complaints. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how the rest of it goes, but I don't. I don't see an issue with it. All right, Bronzor is the Reverse Hollow. And Scorch is the rare. Right, so we'll sleep both of those up. So four normal packs and then nine celebration packs. Very excited because we are still missing plenty of cards. Um, I have been doing a little bit of shopping for um, singles uh, of some of the ones that I've been missing, but I've been very strict on like, all right, I'm not paying more than this. So I think, I think we've been doing all right. With that aspect, I've got a couple in the mail coming to me right now, but um, like all the bigger ones, you know, like I'm missing uh, Blastoise. I'm not going to buy a single card of that because that's a decent amount of money unless you get crazy lucky. Um, but, or all the uh, the full art ones at the back of the, you know, the collection list there. Uh, haven't bought any of those yet because I'm kind of, I am kind of hoping to pull them. Hopefully get one or two of them today. All right, let's see what we got. Flaffy and one of the alternative art cards, that'd be great. Uh, no, but you know what? That is okay, I don't think we have that card. I don't think we have the Flaffy in Reverse Hollow either. Chilling Rain, I did not realize, has uh, 35? I wanna say 35-ish, we'll say ish. Uh, secret rares in it, so rainbow rares or uh, gold cards, stuff like that. Move on to Vivid Voltage, where, uh, okay. Reverse Hollow up front. Does Vivid Vol Vivid Voltage doesn't have a God Pack, does it? There's no way Vivid Voltage has a God Pack. Hmm. Um. Okay. All right, so. Got a green back. I'm just kind of. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Does Vivid Voltage have a God Pack? Because if it does, then I'm very confused and very excited at the same time. So, say that or these are fake. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna set these down right there. Um. I'm gonna keep the camera running. Maybe I'll edit it out. But I'm gonna go find Vivid Voltage and see something real quick. Okay, all right. Um, so I actually don't know where my Vivid Voltage binder is uh, currently. So I'll pick these back up. Um, okay, all right, let's. C dot reverse hollow, right? Looks real. Only one way to test it. Ooh, it's fake. Is it fake? Oh, it's got the black on the inside. I genuinely don't know. <gasps> oh, what is going on? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, where are the cards that I just opened? Okay, so Fluffy, let's do let's do Crab Brawler. So 
those are real. So a good way to tell if a card is real is if you rip it, you've got that black middle seam. So I ripped the C dot because I'm 99.999% I'm sure that I have a C dot. Reverse hollow. Like, I'm, I'm almost, I mean, almost 100% positive. Flaffy is an uncommon, so I'm not gonna do that one. Uh, What's the first one that I opened? Where does it stop? It stops right there. Okay. So, let's see, which ones do I have? Definitely have Glam Meow. Also real. I normally never rip cards, so please don't think bad of me. But the way that this one ripped, with the, how it came off like that, I just, I don't, oh, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Oh. Okay, so there's those two. What did I get for this one? Some Discordian bronzer. I definitely have bronzer. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That one's doing the same thing. So that's just gotta be how it is. And it's, this one's got the black too. Okay. So, with that deduction being done and me basically throwing away money just to figure that out, um, let's go ahead and assume this is a god pack. That being said, it's got a green back. Like, that's a green back. What is going on? Because this is a reverse hollow rare. Okay. Reverse hollow uncommon. Memory capsule. Reverse hollow rare. Print. Reverse hollow Alistair. Right? I mean, it shines like it should. The the back of it. I mean, it's not blurry. It does, mm, it does kind of feel fake. Non hollow Metagross. Energy card. Okay. I'm so confused. All right. Okay, interesting. Okay, so same with full God Pack. I think this happened to me with Shining Fates. Ah, oh, I've opened so many packs in my life. Okay, so I am genuinely, genuinely sorry and very confused, by the way. They feel, they feel like real cards, right? There's no blurriness to the words. The backs all seem good. What was that last one? This one. Very interesting. Okay. Let's just assume that we just got absolutely crazy lucky. Let's let's go with that. I like that idea so much more than somehow this was resealed. Um, if the person who sold me this is watching, I, I'm not accusing yet. Uh, but, wow, what a... Okay, what an interesting, okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's move on to the second vivid voltage. See uh, see what we get here. Very interesting. I mean, we did just have an air pack of Chilling Rain yesterday, um, where we got a Reverse Hollow, a Gold Card, and a VMAX all in the same one. So I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility. But, all right, let's, let's keep on going. All right. So yeah, yeah, uh, I, I do not rip cards. I have ripped four cards in my entire life. Three of them were just in this video. One of them was to figure out if I had another fake card because I had something else crazy happen. All right, Dusclops, Garbodor, Reverse Hollow Rare, and Shed Engine. Okay, so yes, very confused. Very, very confused. Um, on what just happened. Uh, I, yeah. I had something like that happen with a previous set that I opened. I cannot for the life of me think of what set it was. I want to say it was Shining Fates. Uh, it feels right. But I genuinely, I, it's been so long. I just genuinely don't remember. So, all right. But now we are on to celebrations. I do, I really do apologize about that because normally I'm just very focused on on mission basically um so 
Celebrations. Okay. What cards are we missing that we want? Gold Mew, obviously. Uh, Blastoise. All the full arts in the back. Um, yeah, we're missing, we're missing a lot. But let's, all right, let's go through this. What are we starting off with? We got Palkia. Cosmog. Groudon. So the third spot would be the, you know, hit. Um, and then Professor's Research. So we've got nine packs. So we're looking for roughly about four hits total because it's about 50% uh, in terms of hit ratio. Or so I've been told. We have been um, lucky in what we pull when we pull it. But overall and percentage wise, we have been lacking severely. So, second pack Yentl, Groudon. Here comes Team Rocket. So this is from the subset right there. So this is a hit, and the centering on this is terrible. Oh my, terrible. Look at the bottom, how much space is there. And look at the top. Wow, wow, that's bad. Okay, and the full art Pikachu. But you know what? This goes in the book, in the binder. Uh, just because it's so bad and we've already pulled it before so i'm not uh i'm not too concerned about oh well it's kind of off or something like that so put those up there all the cards are going to get sleeved eventually uh just to save time because this is already a long episode i'm probably going to cut off the uh you know the part where i look for and fail the uh looking for uh vivid voltage i was looking to see if i had the seat up but I just sorted it not that long ago, so. All right, starting off, we got Yentl again. Fell by Groudon? No. All right, Xerneas. And a Ho- Oh, I saw the red. Got excited. And a Zacian V. Uh, I think the Zacian V and Zamazenta V cards are probably going to go for about $50 to $70 as a PSA 10. So I sleeved them up right away because, you know what? While $50 to $70 is not obviously going to, you know, pay anybody's rent, mortgage, or for, uh, you know, anything like that, it's definitely, uh, I mean, nothing to shake a stick at. Still $70. Still $70. Uh, if you notice, I'm pulling all the code cards away. Uh, that is because we are doing a giveaway once we hit a certain number of subscribers. Um, I talked about it in some of the previous episodes, so please go and check those out. Not only do you get to watch some more Pokemon card content, but you also get to find out how to uh, help us get to that part. Alright, so Cosmoem and a Lugia. Okay. And a Flying Pikachu V Max. I see these being sold so much online, and I just I don't understand why. I don't think people understand what they have. Again, uh, right, Zacian V, yeah, $50 to $70, but I think this is going to be $150 to $200 PSA 10. Again, you're not bringing home, you know, a duffel bag full of money unless you do it in nickels. Um, but what you are doing is taking a card and turning it into a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. $200. Think about that's four elite trainer boxes so you're turning one card into you know however many cards depending on the elite trainer box all right enough of that lugia starting us off ho oh legendary bird back to back and an umbreon gold star this is one of the ones that i wanted to pull its center is terrible ah the first time i pull it, it's terrible all right but you know what hey we have it in our collection now. Oh my god, that's so bad though. Um, absolutely beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful card. I love it. All right, what do we got behind you? And another Zacian V. But I mean, whew, let let's let's look at this. Boom! All right, is the it's so crazy because it's gonna oh it's bad. Uh, it's not it's not the greatest on the back. Um, so yeah, it's just, oh man. All right, let's pull another one and then, you know, just have much better 
centering. I think we're doing okay. We got, uh, here comes Team Rocket. We got Gold Star Umbreon so far. All right, let's get this open. Toss that pack aside. All right, we've got the cards in my hand, and then we've got three additional packs. So three more chances. Uh, two of them need to be hits in order for us to hit our quota of 50%, which is what the hit ratio is supposed to be. Cosmog. No hit. Kyogre. Okay. Okay. And a me. I will take a Mew all day. This is another card. Uh, I think this is going to be a PSA 10 of $100 right here. It is slightly common, but it's also at the same time not. You pull that uh, one out of every like seven packs. So, um, and it's a Mew. Fusion Strike coming out right after this is all about the Mew. So, I think it's Again, I think it's one of those cards that save it, get it graded, do good things, you know, if that makes sense. All right, starting off, Yentl. Dialga, that's one that we don't see too often. Zekrom, another one we don't see too often. And another Mew. All right, so we have to hit on both of these last packs. To hit that 50% ratio. We have not done that uh, in a very long time. We've done it out of everything that we've opened. And we have opened a decent amount. We've opened two Elite Trainer boxes. We've opened a tin, uh, one of the collectible tins. We have opened one of every box, except the Pikachu VMAX that just came out and the uh, Super Duper Ultra Premium Collection box, which I can't find anywhere and it makes me sad. Xerneas, Yentl, oh, Kyogre, oh man. All right, uh, give me uh, another Pikachu VMAX. Professor's Research, okay. Okay, all right, we have, well, we're here. We're here at the end. The last celebrations pack, the last pack in general of the day. Um, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Apparently not into the pack because it doesn't want to open for us. All right. Open it nice and easy. Try to save some of the packs. Okay. Last chance to dance. Last chance to dance. Starting off. Statue. Reshiro. Cosmog. You got Lily in the background. All right. Something good. Blastoise. Charizard. Umbreon Gold Card. Gold Mew. You know what? A Clay Doll. It is our fourth one, but it is still technically a hit from the subset. So, again, hit is a hit. Doesn't matter how many of them that we have or that you can buy them for $4. I think it's it's still a good pull. Last card up. Zamazenta. Okay, so we rounded off. We couldn't just have three Zacians and no Zamazenta. Uh, centering on this one's fine. Now, the Gold Star Umbreon. But at least we have one. So that is all that I am concerned with. Maybe I will... Maybe I'll buy one that has better centering. And I'll sell this one for the exact same price. I think that might have to be what we do. But that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much. Again, a huge thank you to uh, the person who sold me this. Um, probably going to email you, text you, not text, message you. That's the one. Uh, and be like, hey, if you want to watch the video, here it is. I'll be putting it up on my channel uh, and see what they say. But uh, yeah, what an interesting day. We got, we got good polls, right? Um, boop. Let's pull out, uh, here comes Team Rocket. Get that in a top loader. That that was our first one. Uh, again, honestly, not bad. Terrible centering, but, you know, it is, unfortunately, what it is. Same thing with the Umbreon Gold Star, but you know what? This is one of the top three, maybe top five uh, sought-after cards of the set. Uh, we did get a Pikachu VMAX. Again, nothing to shake a stick at. And a Clay Doll. So... Yeah, not bad. And a, a, a half god pack from Vivid Voltage. So very interesting day. Very interesting day. 
a uh, very interesting box. Uh, happy to have it in my collection. So yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you all in the next one.